My name is Greg Hager and in this presentation I will discuss the basic flue design principles for gas appliances according to the Australian standards ASNZS 5601.1-2010. This presentation is meant to be for general information only. The topics that will be covered will be as per the Australian Standards 5601 Appendix H Flue Design. The topics covered will be heat loss, resistance to flow of flue gases and the design of individual appliance flues using a worked example and the table H2 in AS 5601. When designing appliance flues, heat loss due to the materials and the immediate environment must always be considered. The heat of the flue gases causes it to move up the flue. Any heat loss causes the flue gases to slow down. If sufficient heat is removed from the flue gases, its temperature may drop below the dew point and condensation may begin to form. Ideal conditions are those in which heat losses from the flue are very low. Resistance of the flue gases against the flue surface needs to be considered. The flue design table in AS5601 allow for two 90 degree changes of direction. If more than two 90 degree changes of direction are used, other methods of design must be considered. Now let's consider the following example of flue design. A water heater is to be installed indoors as per H1 in AS 5601. The total height of the flue is 2.7 metres and the lateral length is 600 millimetres. The gas appliance consumption is 120 megajoules. What would be the diameter of the flue that would be required for this installation? We now go to table H2, which is for the low heat loss materials and indoor locations. Looking down the total height of the flue column, we go down to 3 metres. But in step 2, it says until the height is equal to the height of the flue or the next lower flue height. Therefore, because this flue is 2.7 metres in height, we must go down to 2.5. Now we go across to 0.6 metres and move across that row until it shows greater than the 120 megajoules. We now find the 127 megajoule figure, which is above the 120 megajoule water heater requirement. Now we move to the top of that column, which indicates that a 125 millimetre diameter flue is necessary. What I have covered in this presentation is the heat loss due to the flue material and the location of the flue. I have discussed the resistance of the flue gas within the flue and how 90 degree change of directions are taken into consideration and a simple worked example of how to decide the diameter of the flue for a given gas appliance. If you have any further questions, call Greg on 03 9251 3024. Thank you.